Hello, welcome. I'm Mark Abadi, and this is Mark's Minutes on spirituality and cost. Now, there are so many people out there who believe that because it's about spirituality, say meditation teaching or, or uh, healing, because it's about that, that it should be free in some way, that in some way people shouldn't have to pay for it. Whoever said spirituality was free? Whoever said that you don't have to exchange with the person who's giving the, their energy and their time? What, just because it's a fundamental concept of all existence? So, let me get this straight. The one thing that is the one true nature, let's say enlightenment, one thing that is the end goal of all beings, that enormous thing that is immeasurable, that's the thing you don't pay anything for? Why? Because it's so valueless, because it's so priceless, that it means you pay nothing for it. Rubbish. Who ever said that? You need to exchange. It needs to be a fair exchange, because at the front end here, there are humans who have to live, who have to engage currently with the middleman. We call it money. There are people who have to engage here. So until a time when that isn't the life, where food is so abundant, where energy is so abundant, it's all free. Until that point, then yes, there's a fair exchange necessary. And you do have to pay for certain things, like healing, like your spiritual teacher. Their time, their energy, it's as valuable as any other service you've been offered, if not more. So, all you healers, all you therapists, value yourselves. Because the ironic thing is, Humans value things that you value more. For example, if you were uh, selling uh, this piece of paper in a, if you're selling this piece of paper in the market, and you called it the magic sticky note, and you were selling it in the market, and you were selling it for two cents or three pence, then people wouldn't even look twice at it. Whereas if you were selling it for a hundred pounds or two hundred dollars, people would go, "What's that?" Huh? Huh? And you might even get a couple of people buying them. Because people value things that other people value. Set a higher price, but value it. Make it fair, make it just, but value yourself. Because if you don't value yourself, then the other people receiving the service won't value it. If you give out therapy for free, people will not value it. It won't work as well. The more people pay for it, the more they're committed to helping themselves and ultimately that's what happens in all healing that's what happens in all therapy they're doing it you're doing nothing you're facilitating their growth that's what we all do we are facilitators only and if they're brave enough to let go of their issues and they've invested enough and they're thinking hmm I've really committed myself to this then boom progress will happen value yourself and other people will value you thanks for joining see you again